not sure we can get through here. What the hell was I thinking? Look at the state of it. Oh, this is just a disaster. <sighs> yep, that cheese is definitely melted. Look at that, that's a trail that just goes basically straight into the water. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? I'm not entirely sure this is a good idea. I've abandoned the vehicle over there and I'm trying to walk through the ocean. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, I'm not gonna lie, that drone shot on the intro was not taken this morning. The weather today is as grim as your grandma's mole. It's not too bad. I mean, I'm actually sat on a beach in a little spot called Silverdale in an area of natural beauty in the northwest of England. Not too far from the Lake District, which is good because that's kind of the way I'm heading. I'm going to be heading up to a place called Barra on Furnace today, which is the southern tip of the Lake District County. I've got some wicked little spots to check out. I've got lighthouses with views and hikes all around. I've got a ruined castle with a hike that you can only get to at low tide, and then an absolute pucker car camping spot next to the ocean with views all over the estuary. I hope I can do and find all three of them, but we do have a mission first to complete. You see, if you follow the series, I've got a little bit of a weird ear infection. Boo-hoo, I'm sick. No, I'm not. But I went to pick up some medicine that was ordered at a pharmacy yesterday, and it turned out the pharmacy decided not to order the medicine. However, today, they've got it. So I'm going to be heading south to pick that up, and then we're going to be heading north towards Baron Furnace. It's going to be a good one today, regardless of the weather. We've got some wicked spots and proper little funky missions to complete. So let's get the crib sorted out. Let's get on the road. <laughs> no way. Proper random start to this episode. The life and times of a car camping vlogger on YouTube, you know, you know, and the realities of it. Oh, I'm poorly, I'm sick, but we got medicine. Oh, I don't know how to use it. Hang on. Oh. Whoa! No, look at this little bad boy. I'm guessing that, that little puppy dog goes in the ear hole. I have to shake it. I guess I should read the instructions. I don't know. Squirt. Okay. All right. Oh, what the friggle, dude? That's so random. <laughs> oh, I just squirt in my ear hole. Oh, that does not feel good. Oh, I'm screaming at myself in the car. <laughs> There's no one around. Screw it. Hang on. There's one more. <laughs> this is mental. It feels so weird. Hang on. Oh, dude, I've got to go lefty now. This is gonna be really random. I guess I gotta pull my ear out a bit so it goes in. Oh! oh! He didn't shoot in as much as the last one. I don't think I got the trajectory quite right. Oh! That got it. Oh! <laughs> Feels weird, mate. I don't know. I feel like I'm in the swimming pool, like I need to blow my ears of swimming. Anyway, after all that excitement, let's get on the road. It's going to be good, man. We're up to Baron Furnace. The weather's holding out a little bit. It's not too bad. And we've got a pucker-looking little hike around the lighthouse. I figure I'm going to get over there. It's an hour and a half drive, and then we'll gauge it with the weather thereafter. But either way, we're up there for a pucker-looking car camping spot. So let's roll. Rah. So built up. I think we're finally getting close towards some green stuff. 
I hope so. I don't want to be staying around here tonight. It's a nightmare. Home time, our Barrow and Furnace. And I think, oh mate, we're coming into the industrial area. It's said on the signs. It's just not going well. Just saying. At some point, I'm going to hit the countryside, I hope. Oh, this is madness, mate. We're in the middle of Barrow and Furnace in the industrial estate. And the worst of it is, I've got a sneaky feeling we're staying close to this area tonight. Really don't fancy that if that's the case. <sighs> Nightmare. Boom time, sneaky bit of coastline in the ocean then. Just like we started this morning, but yeah, a bit of a change of plan. I'm gonna do a bit of scoping and go check out the spot for the night because it's basically like en route to where I'm going. So yeah, we're a couple of three miles away. We're three miles away. We're in kind of a massive built up area. I'm not feeling it. Boom, scoping mode right on the right here. Massive pulling, massive lay by. And yeah, no no overnight parking signs. It's legit, you can park there. There's about four spots down here, I think. We're just checking it on the park for night app. Uh, there's another one up here, look, on the left. But it's just, they're all a bit close to the housing estates. And yeah, you know me. I want to get out of the way. Let's keep moving. Uh, I'm not sure we can get through here. Oh, this is this is not looking great. Um, shit. I mean, I don't know how freaking deep this is and how far it goes. Oh, this is this is not great. Jesus, the whole freaking road's flooded, mate. Go slow. Oh shit! Looks like it's getting quite deep. Oh freaking hey, dude. Getting deeper. I'm not entirely sure it's a good idea to keep going. Oh, mate, it's bad. Jesus crud. What the frick am I doing? I should have turned around, man. What was I thinking? Holy crud. What the hell was I thinking? Look at the state of it. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart's beating. What the frig was a thinking, mate? Oh my god. Woo! I'm not gonna lie. It's a good job I got practice of doing that sort of thing in Asia, mate, on my on motorbikes. Oh mate, I hope there ain't no more of that. Oh, man, I'm flapping now. Oh you bugger. Oh, this is this is a nightmare drive. <sighs> thing is, and I'll try and show you on the map. Like, this is why I'm checking the spot out, because there's a hike over to the castle, and I thought you were going to be able to park up right near the castle, and no, the park up's there, but it's kind of in the middle of the landlock, but I guess it's not landlocked, because it's marshland and it's bogland, and that's why you can only go there at low tide. But when you're looking on the map, like I'm showing you, yeah, it looks like there's a load of big area of land. I'm guessing they're not, and this whole area around here is going to be floodplains. Mate. I'm still shaking from that river. Uh, road. Whew. Oh, mate, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We got sheep in the field and cascules and stuff on the horizon. Oh, this is looking great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my days. You got to be giraffe. Having a giraffe. Is this it? Crying out loud. Do they not bother with the roads around here or what? Whew. Well, nah. I think we've got a spot. What? right there and in all honesty it's a pretty tidy view isn't it i was honestly expecting a few more vans and such here and uh -huh, yeah rubbish yeah rubbish over there as well that's kind of what i was hearing about this area but uh yeah let's have a quick look it's gonna be windy i haven't got your muff on Oh my days, <laughs> just looking at this gate thing. Look at that, it's a trail that just goes basically straight into the water. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Mate, it does look quite a nice area. I, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. It feels a little bit iffy and a little bit sketchy, if I'm honest. Maybe it's the weather, industry over the way, big housing estates everywhere. I don't know, maybe it could be the spot that people come to at night around here, do you know what I mean? Maybe that one will car park that we passed earlier nearer the house in the states and whatnot be the one but uh we really don't have much option this is it 
this is the option unless we can park down at the lighthouse which i doubt but yeah i think we'll keep moving we'll go check out the lighthouse and have a hike around sleep on squat and then head back here because we've got no other place to go this is what it is i hope we get company mm, here we go then the south walney nature reservoir i was wondering why this is not on park for night i'm thinking we're just about to find out i don't see any signs yet keep moving uh it's locked at 5 p.m what the gate is locked at 5 p.m it's half past four mate this is a nightmare looks like i might stay down here for the night regardless i'm gonna go ask somebody about this gate thing yeah, I've got a feeling this is going to be all locked and whatnot. Oh, mate. There's no one in there. And I've just knocked on that door already. There's no one in there either. I don't know, mate. I think I'm just going to risk it. What's the worst going to happen? We have to park here for the night. Someone comes along and tells us off and opens the gate and lets us out. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. There's no signs. There's no nothing. There's a private road up there that you can't go up. Better. Oh yes, game on. Oh mate, I'm absolutely psyched with this. It's been all day getting here, I'm not gonna lie, it's five o'clock in the afternoon or already. I'm just glad it's springtime and we've got a bit of light, you know how it goes, but yeah, the trail should be a good one. It's only three miles, it's called the South Warney Nature Reserve Circular, but should get all up into or rather around the coastline should get some nice shots over to them castles and yeah maybe a bit of rain shot i've seen loads of rabbits and such like bouncing around on the road so and i guess it's going to be some nice little i don't know oldie worldy stuff on the coast should be a good one god say feels a bit weird and random having this house here it's like i don't really know what it is it looks like there's rooms to rent at the back oh mate <laughs> this rabbit's all over this hill. Or oh, just seeing them bouncing around. Definitely gonna get shots off them today. I hope so anyway. But yeah, I can only imagine it's somebody taking care of the nature reserve, that sort of welcoming centre, and then maybe there's a few rooms to rent, so yeah, wouldn't be a bad place to stay, would it? Wicked. Good as well. I mean look at this, look at uh, the transition for uh the routes that we've taken. Hang on over the past few episodes it's been wicked man up in the moorlands and such and down by the beach and now we're on sand dunes and such it's wicked man real diverse i'm so glad i came this way instead of cornwall hey <laughs> wicked the old sea hide oh wow look at this i'm guessing these are all the birds and such you can see around there and the view it's not too shabby is it got Bivy Bag Wild Camp written all over it, you know. <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to have a fire in here though, but yeah, not bad. Oh wow, not bad out here either. This is an amazing area. Now I've got out the car and I'm starting to walk around it. Yeah, it looks, uh, that way it looks crap with the industry, but yeah, this side looks wicked, mate. Would like to get over to that tomorrow if I can, if the tide's low. Right, I think the trail cuts this way. Let's go. Dang it, I think I've missed something. I think right over there in the distance are seals. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure there's some seals around here though. And that looks like the spot. I thought these little bits here were them. Obviously they're not. There is some heads popping around over there. Hey, darn it. I'll tell you what I am seeing a lot of around here and it's not wildlife. <sighs> Big bags, loads of them. There's a pile of rubbish back there. I didn't show it because it was a bit unsightly, but I don't know. I guess it's a good thing because someone's here collecting it, but it makes me wonder why they've not took them away, eh? I mean, leave them long enough, they'll just rot and blow away again everywhere again. So, yeah, I guess there's a lot of stuff comes off the ocean here. I don't know if this actual spot's on the Irish Sea, but yeah, we're, we're kind of around that area, so it's probably washing in a lot. I want to see some seals now. There's one, there's one, there's one. 
Yes, I got one on camera. No way. Spitting over really fast as well. I was just going to say, I can't believe this area for the rabbit holes. They're just millions of them. There must be tens of thousands of rabbits on this little peninsula here. They really must. <laughs> and we got one on camera. Legend. Oh, it's so fast. They're cute, aren't they? Man? Probably full of disease, though, so, you know. Not a bad little area, though, eh? Oh, wicked, mate. Oh, yes. More rubbish bags and a children's slide. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to take that with me and give it away as a gift. Also, pillbox and the lighthouse. Pretty sight to see that lighthouse. I mean, it's just a lighthouse, but it's kind of been like my mission for the day to get to it. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's go slap a tickle it. I hope we can get close to it. We got it. Oh, I'm not entirely sure we can actually get to that lighthouse. And it looks like somebody's dwelling there. Uh, I don't know. Don't want to disturb them, do we? Damn it. Slap and tickle from a distance, you know. <laughs> it's official as well. Da -da -da -da. So what lives here? The lighthouse is privately owned. No way, and there's no access. Enjoy the views from the trail. By the way, it's privately owned. Wow. I mean, if you're going to buy a pad, that's a pretty epic pad to buy, isn't it? And in a pretty spanking location, to be fair. There should be more signs up saying it's private, though, because I almost hiked over to it. But, yeah, good news. Oh, wicked, mate. Tasty pad. Ooh. This hide looks pretty tasty as well. Let's go check it out. <laughs> no way. This thing's mad. It looks like something from the Goonies or something. How oh, random. Oi. Oh, wait. Is that like a little solar light thing going on there? The Groid Hide. Oh, cool, Bennett. Hey. See what we can see. Any seals? <sighs> Not seeing any. Just saying. It's a bit misty, isn't it? Wow. It's a good hide, though. Look at this, then we've got latches and such. We can shut them up. That's pretty cool. Never knew this place existed before, to be honest. Just found it on the map and here we are, you know. Another good little, little find. Work it, all right. I don't know. The trail cuts back and then slowly cuts along the coast the other side towards the crib, so yeah. Let's keep moving, eh? There is somewhere though, just saying. close back to the crib but it's all these like stone monolith things around I have no idea what they are they've dotted all over as well look there's two over there I thought it were people I zoomed in and no it's another monolith thing I don't know if it's remnants of the castle they kind of look a little bit more industrial age don't they than uh, that oldie worldie but maybe they are maybe there was towers up here and such and part of the castle network a pretty stunning area and the trail's pretty awesome as well it's cutting like right through the heart of the marshland or the nature reserve here it's yeah it's fantastic honestly if you get the chance to come down here maybe when the weather's a bit better then i highly recommend it three miles couple of hours happy days and pure nature all around right i do think the trail's just going to cut along here towards back to where i'm parked so i'll catch you back at the crib Right, time to find out if that gate's locked or not. Nightmare. Uh, what the friggle? Wow. Like, who's locked that? You know what I mean? if someone stole me spot or not. Oh crap, I just stood on me muff and now it's all mucky. Nobody likes a dirty muff, that's disgusting. Ugh. Let's go. Good news, nobody stole me spot. Mwah. Bad news, we've got no company for the night. Oh well, it is what it is. To be honest, yeah, 
it doesn't seem too bad an area. I mean, we've got pure nature around. And then down the way uh, is all there is, is like this sort of caravan park down there. It looks like sort of elderly people mostly around there. And then, yeah, we've got the estate well over the way through that river thing. So I think we should be all right for the night. And I'm not messing. I'm getting grub on. I'm doing it quick. And it's special tonight because <gasps> it's pizza night. Oh, so if I can do one of the successful ones and not one of the messed up ones. Let's see how we go. <sighs> Chilling. Right, let's not mess about. Let's get sorted oh, with all the gobbins. Uh, somewhere in here is, oh mate, I bought puff pastry, man for a pie i don't even know why i don't like pies <sighs> but oh oh no oh oh that's that's moist really moist it's just a box though should be right oh, i'm somewhere down here oh yep because it's a pizza da, 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 ham yeah i mean you know could actually put some of that on it as well maybe but for now <laughs> the honey oh honey ham yay <laughs> oh yeah and a bit of half mouldy red onion. Need using quickly. Oh wait! Oh, I nearly forgot, yeah. Might want the cheese as well, eh? Yeah, just a thought. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, I've been moving these around for about four or five days now. Yeah, the mushrooms as well, eh? Oh, I'm so gutted, mate. Every time I open the fridge. <sighs> I smell the camembert. I've got to eat it. I'm so tempted. I could just fez off the pizza and eat that, but no! No, it's pizza night. Oh, God. It'd be so much bloody easier. Right. Let us begin. Now, I'm going to say this from the start. If you're a newcomer to the channel, we've attempted this pizza thing three times previously, and only one time was it a success. That was when we were in Anglesey, parked up in a similar sort of situation by an estuary type thing. So, in terms of location, it bodes well. What doesn't bode well is, I can't remember how I did it for it to be a success that time around. So, I figure I'm just going to give myself a fighting chance from the start, and I'm going to prep everything, and then deal with the dough. Because if I don't, it's just going to burn, and it'll be a disaster before I even start. So, prepping the condiments. Let's go. Might need that as well though. Oh, just a thought. Fear not as well, because I've got the magic knife of Ubinus, so this should be pretty quick. Boom time. Ah, oh, onion and mushroom. And I'm gonna do something a little bit wild and crazy. I'm gonna fry them off a little bit first. Ah, uh, just because I couldn't de-skin the mushroom because it was crap, so they're dirty. So, I'll fry them a bit. That'll work. I'm not gonna lie, and I don't wanna curse myself, but I'm feeling mildly confident about this already. Oh, why is there a flame licking off the... Oh, back of the freaking ridge monkey. Damn it. All right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, confidence is waning. In with the bunion and the musqueam now. Oh, crap. Might need a tool. Hang on, we've got one. Me. <laughs> Actually, you do what? What? <laughs> I might use the ridge monkey tools for this job because I've never used them and I don't really have my long spatula with me, so yeah, no choice. Flip him. No, hang on a minute. I'll take it back. I've found it. Right, they're done. Oh, I don't know if they are, actually. Oh, bloody hell. All the mushrooms are just stuck together in one fell swoop lump. That sucks. Yeah, boy. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They ain't far off. That's what they're doing, it? They'll do. Done. You up then. Right. This is where it's gonna get real. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Oh, God. It feels soggy already as well. I don't like the sound of that. Feel of that. You know what I mean. Well, guess I'll read the instructions. <laughs> no, I won't. Well, he just talks about putting it in the oven, so yeah, we haven't got one. Meh. Let's just see what we're dealing with and pray it's still okay. Otherwise, hey, camembert. <laughs> with a few onions and mushrooms. I'm none the wiser looking at that, I gotta be honest. 
<laughs> yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Let's get in there. Let's get it real, man. Bring it out with that dustproof paper or whatever the crud it's called. I don't freaking know. Now, I'm not going to lie, right? This, this is where you want a real, not a real ridge monkey, because this is a real ridge monkey, but a ridge monkey that comes apart. I'm just saying. It will be so much easier to take the lid off now and then lay it all out. And then, boom, Shankar, you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, but I can't, so. Ugh. Ugh. Bit of last night's dinner stuck to it. Good. Um, I mean, it's on the roll of papers to make it easy, but I'm not entirely sure how that makes it easier. I don't know. How does that make it easier? That's not, not fucking easier. Oh, fucking hell, dude. Oh, my God. This has got to be right. This has got to be right. Oh, this feels bad. Oh, this feels really bad. If I get this wrong, we're in a world of pain. There's no turning back, mate. Yeah, I'll see what it's saying now with the paper. You gotta roll it off. Oh, mama. Right, yeah. Okay. This is shit, dude. It ain't working. Ah, uh, it's not working. It sucks, dude. Right. Great. It's over the pan. Now what do I freaking do? Oh, he's not even over the pan right! Oh, God. Oh, it's sticking to the bed and everything, mate. This is minging. Right, um... This is not happening. This is not happening. I think... I'm going to make one that goes on the inside of the pan rather than all this crappy overflap shiznit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is... Oh, bloody hell. You might want to to have cleaned the pan a little bit. No, this is world of pain. It's just sucking up all the juice from that mushroom. That's all it is. That's all it is. Right, we're having a little one. Hit. Golden Bennett. Yep, stuck to me bed. It's stuck to me fucking ripping bed. Okay, okay. Right, I've got it where I want it. Now what do I freaking do? I mean, how does it peel off this? Oh, right. Oh, God. Not very easily. Oh, oh, whoa. I feel like I should have, like, Oh, a lot of flour. Yeah. Oh, freaking hey, dude. I, I'm guessing this shiznit would have been better like when it's fresh. I guess that's what the problem is, yeah? I don't know. You guys know, because you can cook, and I'm freaking useless. Right, right. We'll do it that way so you can actually see what's going on, but not a lot. Oh, this is, this is just a disaster. As if this not going to stick to the pan. I mean, i got a bit of grease under there from them muggies, so... We might be alright. <sighs> oh, I can't. Just, just, just that last bit. Oh, don't want to scratch the ridge monkey. Not for a pizza. That's probably going to burn anyway. Oh, God. Oh, no. Mate, mate, we're in. Yeah, weren't the easiest, not going to lie. And it's probably all going to stick to the pan, but, um, yeah, pizza, mate. Pizza dough. Would have been bleeding easy to make me own a thing. Good news as well, though, if the first one's a disaster, then we can maybe do, like, some sort of pizza strip. Might want to pick these greasy, nasty black bits off first. So it's just flavouring. It's from the mushroom. The Riz Monkey always does get a wipe. Not an amazing clean, but it gets a wipe. I might just sift through to make sure there's no two big, greasy lumps. But, yeah, light heat on the main gun. Crap, I've not got the cheese ready. Hang on a minute. Oh, cheese. Do love cheese. It's amazing, isn't it? A gift from the herd. Or, you know, sheep and goats and cows. Because they make cheese as well, don't they? I mean, they don't make cheese. Because people say that, don't they? they go, oh, cows make cheese. No, they freaking don't. It's not like they stand in the bloody warehouse, like, mixing their own milk up and making cheese, is it? They go out in the field and eat grass, and then we take the milk and make the cheese. I mean, no, cows don't make cheese. Just saying. <laughs> it's a mad thing to say, isn't it? Why do people say it? Because if cows did make cheese, I mean, what do you reckon? Like, you know, obviously you'd have to, like, make some sort of hoof adaption so they could use the machinery and such and probably train them, like, because, you know, for ingredients. But oh, I'm holding it up. I think cows would make pretty good cheese. They might go that fruity stuff, though. Or well, maybe a bit of grass in there. Ugh. No, that could be minging, isn't it? I don't know. Back to the earth. Salt of the earth. Where we came from. Could be what we need. Grassy cheese. 
I don't know. You can probably get it somewhere. Oh, on with the pizza. Well, good news. I can hear it moving. So that means it's all oh crap. Not sticking to the bottom. Oh, oh that. Ow! Oh, this this is not gonna go out. I'm just saying. Something don't feel right. Oh god and bloody Bennett. Righto. Whatever. Right, so here's the plan. We lightly cook one side, then we flip it over the magic monkey. Oh, yeah, monkey. We pray. Oh, now I admit, it does look like a freaking pancake, but screw it. It ain't burnt. That's a first. Right, so, next stage, Tommy Puree. Come on, me old monk. Yeah, got the real deal. You thought I was going to use ketchup, didn't you? I nearly did. Uh, I actually remembered it yesterday when I went Asda, so good news. In with the Tommy Puree. Possibly a little bit too much, just a thought. It's only me. Smearing tool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Who needs a pizza oven, man? You know what I mean? All them blinktastic ones, I've seen him. Oh, just Alex. Bought myself a mobile pizza oven. Mobile pizza oven. Them things weigh about four tons, mate. I used to have one of them Fabergé eggs in my garden with the old dear years ago making pizza ovens. Brought over from Italy. Believe this, next door neighbour was Italian. And he used to drive to Italy because he was afraid of frying. Not frying, flying. So he drove. And yeah, he had one of these Fabergé egg things in his garden. It was a pizza oven. It looked fantastic with a little cockerel on top. And one time... He brought my old dear, my mum, he brought her a pizza oven back from Italy, authentic. And the thing did weigh like about half a ton or something. He had to bring it back in his like van and drive thousands of miles and the back axle was just weighing down the whole way. But yeah, pizza oven, you don't need one. You can do it in a wrist bunker. Right, hammer time. Yeah, do 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 hammer time. Yes, I got it in there, man. Everyone loves a bit of MC Hammer back in the day. And if you're too young, Go check him out. It's almost as cool as a rickroll. And no, look at me being an absolute rogue. I'm not even chopping them up, mate. Just pure, unadulterated, full slices of ham on the pizza. That's how I want, mate. Oh, cool. Shit, ripped a bit. Damn it. Oh, somebody loves me. That's a rarity. All right. Oh, oh, there's jizz. We don't want jizz. Nobody likes a jizzy pizza. That's got to be strained and drained. Bear with. She's all over me freaking hand now. Good. Right, uh, yeah. Oh, mate, this is, this is... I'm jumping the gun. I was going to say this is looking good, but there's a long way to go yet, ladies and gentlemen. A long way to go. And this is where it gets real, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bloody tissue. And a jumbo freaking ball of freaking tissue. Where's that gone? Oh. Jumbo! Honestly, you got them on them out, but every now and again, Idler has them in. The old jumbo ones for about quid 15. Legendary, mate. Kitchen roll on the jumbo jumbo level. Can't beat it. Right. Smelly cheese. Oh, I could smear that camembert on top. No, that's wrong. No. Right. The last piece. And I've got to be honest, look, all joking aside, this is where it gets real now because... If we fadaddle this bit up, we're dead. We got a black pizza and burnt. Because it's all one we want to do is create a mild amount of heat on a cooker that laughs at you when you try and regulate it. Less than that. There it is. That's like spitting out the end of the gas can. That's what level that's at. Please be successful. Right, I can hear something sizzling. Oh. Looking good on the top. Oh, please. I mean, I've kept it moving. I've done all I can for it. You know what I mean? I've treated it right. Now it's its turn. Yep, that cheese is definitely melted. Oh, oh. All right. Brace yourselves. Oh, my days. Ah, ooh. Ah, ooh. Look, that is not burnt. That is not burnt. I'm not having it. I don't care. That is not burnt. Oh, freaking hell, it's hot. That is finally a successful pizza. Should have had sweet corn on it as well. That would have been lush. Nevertheless, 
I think there's some football on. I don't think it's England. It's like every bloody country in the world playing tonight, except for England. I don't get it. They played on Sunday, but whatever. I'm going to watch some TV, chill out, and munch that pizza. I don't know about this spot. There's a lot, a lot of passing traffic. This road next to me is well busy. And I've just had somebody pull up, like, eyeballing me, seeing what I'm doing. I think they're just more curious than anything. And all the traffic... There's nothing down there except for that camping place with the mobile and home, so I don't know. Maybe there's just absolutely no amenities and they drive off to some village in the evening for a drink or a meal and whatnot. I guess that's the way, but I'm thinking it should get quiet about nine, half, nine, ten o'clock. We'll see how we go. Hopefully I won't get any bother. I guess if I do, it's going to be more people thinking I'm dogging or something than anything else. But yeah, I'll catch you in the morning if not. To say it, I'm not entirely sure this is a good idea. I've abandoned the vehicle over there and I'm trying to walk through the ocean. Mate, I don't know. There's a trail guide and it says I can get to that castle at low tide. Uh, low tide was about half an hour ago, so I guess it's all coming in now. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna see how close I can get. There's two islands, there's one with the castle and one called Sheep Island, so it's two miles there and two miles back. I might be able to get there, I'm just worried about getting back. I was just going to say, I've not been awake long this morning, so the brain's not working quite as fast and acutely as it normally does. So this may not be a good idea. Just saying. There's a little sort of streamy estuary thing, whatever you want to call it, going on here. I could step over that, coming out here. Let's hope I can still step over it like that on the way back. Oh, wow. This is so weird. I mean, I'm actually walking like on the ocean seabed at the minute. I mean, I'm not, you know what I mean? But yeah, the ocean light in three or four hours, this whole area is going to be flooded. Oh, mate, really open back by the car bar then. Our visions are being stuck on the island of calling the Coast Guard. There's a mad one then, there's a trek over. What the heck are these? Look, that squiggly bits of sand, there's nothing underneath them and there's literally millions of them everywhere. Look. Another one, squiggler. I don't get why there's squiggler. And there's nothing underneath it. I don't know, maybe there's an animal down there somewhere. So random. Oh my days. Somebody's attempting to drive over it. I really hope that's a four before. I can only assume it's something official. Ah, like a guide that comes this way on a four before. It's not close enough yet for me to check, but who knows? Well, I don't know. I'm saying they're locals and they know what they're doing. They've got some trailer on the back, so they're obviously up to something. Yeah. Fair play. <laughs> to be honest, apart from that first section, you probably could drive across it. I mean, obviously you can. You need a bit of a four before, but it's not too bad. Right, nearly at the castle. Well, true or not, this gentleman in the vehicle behind me apparently lives on the island. I don't know. Says he got a pad on the island. Whether he's blagging or not, I don't know. We're about to find out. It does look like there's a few houses a bit, so... It's not a bad spot to uh, reside, is it? A bit limited, though. Ain't leaving it at high tide, are you? Stuck on the island. A bit random. Especially if there was an emergency. Ooh. Let's go take a look. Well, he wasn't lying about the houses, was it? Check it out. This is the first thing on the island. Look at the view they've got. <laughs> we can make no way. What a spot to live. Absolutely amazing. Right on the southern tip of the Lake District, down near Barrow and Furnace, man. On an island. Wicked, man. Mate, there's a few. It's like a village. <sighs> I've got to be honest, this is a bit mad now I'm on here. From a distance, it just looked like a real small spit of land with a castle on it. And now I'm here, it's like, I mean, it's not big, but it feels a little bit sizable. Like, you're not going to get lost on it, but yeah, it doesn't feel like the ocean's going to take it, do you know what I mean? 
and the house is on here and it's not that small because it's got a freaking pub mate <laughs> how mad is that must be pretty mad being a local on the island there's only about four houses you'd all hang out in the pub in the evening and just chill together it must be a wicked little community <sighs> quality <laughs> here's a mad one as well look please do not queue on the jetty for the boat yeah there's actually a boat that comes over here from well there that jetty to this jetty mad ass i'm guessing it doesn't operate many times of the day and I guess it gets busy in the summer, you know what it's like, people coming over to this pub, aren't they? So, for a little peruse. But yeah, a bit random when you can walk to it. I don't know. Nearly at the castle though. Da -da -da -da. Oh, wicked mate, here we go then. <laughs> it's a bit of a mad one. Piel Castle or Peel Castle, I don't know. We'll get here in a minute, but check this out. This is quality, look, opening times. Any reasonable time. <laughs> you gotta love that. And I've got him because it's a 14th century castle and it was built by the abbots of Furness using the rock stones from around the area. It was originally built to sort of keep a lookout on the trade that was going through this area. But then later on, it was used as like a fort to sort of protect against the Scottish raids that were going on in the area. So pretty cool. Apparently it originally had like some big moat around it and it was quite an established sort of building in the area. So <sighs> pretty stoked. From what I read in, the older trade was coming from Ireland and the Isle of Man as well. So really had a proper shipping route all the way back in the 14th century, you know. Shipping trades left, right and east and west. You know what I mean? Mate. It was definitely built with the stones from around here, wasn't it? These are mad. Look at them, they're all knobbly rocks and stuff. That's random as bow. So uh, that's a good shot of it from here, isn't it? And I'm honestly, I'm really psyched about finding this today because I said I was going to find some castles on this trip and I've missed a couple along the way. So to get to this one today in such a random, spectacular fashion across the ocean by walking, yeah, pretty psyched. Let's get over, man. Looks like I might be able to get in and up top. Cool. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's me being paranoid. That freaking water looks like it's coming in quick, mate. Oh, my days. Anyway, it's, uh, please take care of exploring the site. Oh, wow. Check it out. No way. <sighs> Pretty impressive. Oh, wow. This is a stunning castle. Absolutely spectacular. I'm really impressed with it. And more so than that, I'm impressed that you haven't got pay to come inside. Everywhere you go these days in the UK, you got to pay. But not here. We'll just bumble on the island and have a wander around. I was just wondering if this went anywhere. Nice little tower. You may notice that I'm starting to rush a little bit. I'm getting a bit paranoid. That geezer, I stopped him in the car and he was saying, oh, it's at five o'clock, but looking at that water over there, mate. I don't know. I'm not too convinced. We'll have a very, very quick bumble around here and then head back. Oh, mate, I don't want to get stuck. This is so weird. I'm looking for a main entrance and there isn't one. I don't know if it's been blocked up or something, but you can't get inside the castle. That's so weird. There's like these little holes, but they're all barred up. And there's this one, but oh, I don't want to. Wow, wicked. Inside the castle, this is a bit mad. <sighs> Definitely can't get up the top though. It's a bit weird. It almost seems like at some point you could go around this castle or something, but, oh, hang on. Oh my God. There's stairs, but they don't go up. Oh, that's well dodgy, mate. Look at the state of it, wow. Man, this looks like something from the Highlander movie. Where he smashes the tower down fighting uh, old Roger Moore. Not Roger Moore, the other one. The other Bond, you know what I mean. Sean Connery. <laughs> Wicked. Right, I'm honestly starting to get a bit paranoid now about the ocean, so yeah, I'm gonna start heading back, I think. Let's see if we can make it. 
great shot of it from this side though, eh? Absolutely spectacular. The Piel Castle. Rah. Oh yes, game on. Ah, happy days. Back at the crib and the kettle's on. I've not even had breakfast this morning and I just bossed straight out to that castle to make sure I could get there and back. And yeah, that was pretty cool and definitely worth it. And I think this is probably gonna be the best point to end the episode. It's been a wicked one, mate. It started in a rainstorm and it was looking pretty dang bleak, but found an amazing car camping spot and a couple of pucker little, little hikes. Oh yeah and we finally cooked a pizza successfully. As always, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know you know, as they head north, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. All right.